How are you guys doing? So now we are going to be talking about the electronics aspect of the bot and the rest of the build for the bot. So I got a little head start for time purposes. Here is all the electronic components. Here's your ESC, your switch, your receiver, and your battery. And as you can see, on, off, on, off. I'm going to show you how I did it, alright? Okay, so here's everything I'm going to start off like this, alright? So, first we have our motors. And we are going to wire them up. We have our black and our red on each side. And what we're going to do is I tied all my wires over here. And in my speed controller ESC that I got, It is the Scorpion Mini. So one motor goes here, one motor goes there, and your battery goes here. But because our drivetrain goes with four motors, we're going to tie two motors into here and two motors into here. Through the wiring, it looks like I'm doing the back motors in one and the front motors in the other. I'm actually not. What I'm doing is the right side of the motors on one, and then the left side of the motors on the other. And I fed the wires back. And I did both positives, both negatives, both positives, both negatives. Then I have my my battery, and there's a negative positive. Okay. So, with this, we have our switch. This one goes straight to the speed controller. And the other one, the top is going to connect to your switch. And the bottom is going to go straight from the switch to the speed controller. And what this does is turning the screw is going to be turning it on and off. So when the screw's up, it's off because there's no connection between. But when the screw goes down, it turns it on because it passes the flow from this through the screw down. Okay. I put electrical tape over here just so that nothing could catch on fire and I could still see my lights lighting up here, here, and here when they light up. So my calibrate button and nothing's being smushed. And this is just so all the electronic components are covered and we don't have a problem. Here we have our receiver that is connected straight from the ESC and then we have our cable coming out here. And with these, as you can see, they don't come off. I velcroed them down so that if they do have to come off, they can come off, but if not, they're held in a permanent position along with my battery. And what I did was I zip tied this because I wanted my wire coming along here because if this comes from one side, I wanted to connect it. So as you can see, this is here, this is here, and it's like this. my wire can bend this way and plug right in. Okay. So the wiring is pretty simple. I used a lot of electrical tape just so nothing was exposed and heat shrink. I used heat shrink on all these just to keep them together. And I used heat shrink on the connection from the motor to the wire. And just a quick note, when you are soldering these, do not use silver solder. I'm not 100% sure on the reason why, but it was recommended right off the BotKit's website. Okay. So now, after we do all of our electrical components and our wiring, we're going to go back and we're going to start the next step of our build. Alright? So after we finish all of our wiring and our soldering, you can go ahead and test it. So, depending on which receiver and controller you have, it's going to be different for binding. So, I'm sure whichever controller you have, there will be a video online of how to bind it. But mine is already binded. I had to use a bind clip and all. Let me turn my controller on. Now we are able to test our bot. Just to see if it works. Ready? All good one way. I'll get the other. Turning is all good also.
Thank you guys for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to Craig Danby. I will put his Instagram down below. He's the creator of Predator on BattleBots and Foxic on Robot Wars. Really nice guy. He helped me out throughout this whole process. Gave me a ton of pointers. And also check out my Instagram at 355s underscore sparrow. I'll put that down below and check out the rest of my videos.